Hello, and welcome to episode 15 of the God Sells Podcast. I'm Eric Marola. It's been quite a while since I've released a podcast. This is mainly due to my hectic traveling schedule, filming various patients, not just at MCEL in Ukraine, but I have also been traveling all over the United States, following up with various people I have met in the last few years. Stories I will tell in my new documentary. A quick side note, I also recently completed a giant 60-foot mural in Hollywood, which took me away from the documentary for some weeks. Some of you may not know, I am also an artist when not making documentary films. I am hoping to have my documentary sequel to The God Cells released by summer of 2022. Today's episode is a video podcast. If you access this episode on YouTube, you will get the full experience. One of the patients I am following is Bill, a 78-year-old American with Parkinson's. Bill has been to MCEL twice for therapy. He was diagnosed when he was 72 years old, went for therapy for the first time in 2020, and again in 2021. The following is Bill's entire doctor-patient consultation from his first day in May of 2021 during his second visit to MCEL. I thought this would be beneficial for those interested in this therapy to experience what it's like behind the scenes at MCEL when you arrive for therapy. This is the first time an entire consultation of this nature has ever been released to the public. Here is Bill with his doctor, Dr. Andre, and his translator, Max. So if you don't mind, we'll ask you a few questions about the, the results you had after the previous treatment. So can you tell us what results you had? How can you explain it? I had a number of things that went very well for me. I had a uh, bad joint, which was very painful. Rarely do I have problems with it now. My knees were kind of sore, no problems. I had a rotator cuff, a uh, major tear of my shoulder. I still have some limitation in that, but it's probably 80% of what it was originally. My doctor said I had a heart murmur, and that seemed to be gone. And uh, I do this rock steady boxing, and the coaches there, they're afraid of me. If I punch too hard. <laughs> What about your walk? Did you see any kind of improvements in that? Everything was better. I, my golf game got better. All my friends uh, that have seen me before and after the treatment were very uh, complimentary on how much better I looked. What I did, every year I go to a, a physical therapist and a occupational therapist and a voice coach. I had gone year after year. And after the treatment, everything had improved. I was faster on the, the tests that they gave me, a lot faster. Mm -hmm. When they test your strength in your hand, they uh, commented that not only was I stronger for a 78, but for a 48-year-old guy. <laughs> During our last treatment when you were here, mm -hmm. you told us that it was difficult for you to pronounce the words, to make the sentences in general. After the treatment, did you see any improvements? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest concern? So we'd like doctor to pay more attention to those things. I've had a my right leg. Mm -hmm. I had a groin pull, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been, it was very painful. No, mm -hmm. don't <coughs> And right now, yes. there's a a weakness. In fact, it buckled up on me a couple of times. Да, и зараз я присутня слабкість мені, і за того я буду бити нову. I'm not sure if it's from the Parkinson's or if it's from the groin pole. Mm -hmm. It worries me that it might be the Parkinson's. What about your mood in general? I'm a happy guy. <laughs> I telephoned Bill a few days ago. He's happy to report that the pain in his leg has completely disappeared since his therapy in May of 2021. Next, Dr. Andre and Max will explain to Bill exactly what his full three days of therapy will entail, unedited, including a detailed explanation of the wide array of fetal stem cell types he will receive and their injection modalities, all of which are tailored specifically for Bill's condition. Today you'll have the intravenous pre-medication yes. and the infusion of the stem cells intravenously. After that, you'll have subcutaneous injection of the stem cells in the front abdominal wall. 
Внутривенно он сегодня будет получать клеточную суспензию, которая содержит различные типы стволовых клеток, но преимущественно это такие как пригипотоциты. Intravenously, you will have the fetal stem cell suspension, which contains several types of the stem cells. Uh, that's попередники гепатоцитов. Uh, that's progenitors of hepatocyte cells. При гемопоэтические uh, клетки. Hemopoietic и progenitors. И при мезенхимальные клетки. And premesenchymal type of stem cell. Также клеточная суспензия содержит очень большое количество биологически активных факторов, которые будут влиять на весь его организм. Also, uh, fetal stem cell suspension, except the stem cells, it contains a huge amount of biologically active substances, which will also influence into your body work. Great. После проведения этой процедуры у нас будет введение клеток местное в область живота. After this intravenous infusion, you have subcutaneous injection of the stem cells under the skin in the front abdominal wall. Это будут клеточные суспензии, которые содержат предшественники нейрональной ткани. That will be the progenitors of nerve tissue cells, preneural type of stem cells. Клетки, предшественники миосателлитов. Myosatellites, progenitor cells. Которые будут улучшать состояние его мышц. Which will improve the condition of his muscles. Также клетки, предшественники кардиомиоцитов, которые будут улучшать сердечную мышцу, увеличивать выброс крови из сердца. Also cardiac progenitors of cells which will improve the work of your heart and to make your heart muscle stronger. На следующий день. On the next day. После премедикации он также будет получать клетки, но они будут идти интратекально. Tomorrow you will also have intravenous premedication and after that you will have the stem cells be injected in the intrathecal way. Что это означает? What does it mean? Это означает, что клетки будут вводиться в спинномозговой канал. It means that the stem cells will be injected in the spine. Процедура проходит следующим путем. Сначала делается проба на чувствительность к анестетику. The procedure will be done in the following steps. First, we do the check if you have any kind of the reaction for the anesthetic. После премедикации мы его переводим в другое помещение, в стерильное помещение, где будем проводить манипуляцию. After this, we will move to another room, cerulean room, where we will do the procedure. Okay. Is that going to be day one or day two? Day two. Okay. okay. Uh, ложим его в кровать в позу эмбриона, максимально сгибаем его в спине. You will lie down in the bed in the embryo pose, so you will just to bend and to hold your legs. Определяем зону инъекции. Doctor will find the place where he will do the injection. Обезболиваем эту зону. He will apply the painkiller. Идеально обрабатываем, обеззараживаем поверхность. Use the antiseptic. Everything to be clean. Okay. Вводим пункционную иглу. Inject the puncture needle. Забираем пробу ликвора. Take the sample of the liquor liquid. Вводим клеточную суспензию, содержащую большое количество клеток предшественников нервной ткани. And inject the fetal stem cells, which contains a huge amount of preneural type of stem cells. Это дофаминергические клетки, которые максимально будут работать с его проблемой. That's the stem cells which will maximally influence into your problem. После этого мы вынимаем иглу и накладываем асептическую повязку. After that, we will take off the needle and put the bandage. После этой процедуры он должен будет находиться два часа в горизонтальном положении. After that procedure, you will need to stay in the bed for the next two hours. Это профилактирует возможное возникновение головной боли. It will be like a prophylactic measures, just you do not have any headaches. После этой процедуры у некоторых пациентов возникает боли в месте введения или небольшое головокружение, которое проходит самостоятельно в течение нескольких часов. Even after these two hours, some patients they see that have they have a little bit dizziness or they have the pain at the place where we do the injection. But anyway, few hours and that will disappear without any things you need to do. When will I notice a difference? Коли я помічу різницю? 
Effect. You mean the effects? Yes. The effect. Значит, после нашей терапии мы отмечаем покращение через полтора-два месяца за рахунок того, что клетины мы вводим безпосередньо в интра спинальный канал. When you talk about the intrathecal way of of the injection of the stem cells, we expect the improvements to be seen in months and a half. Two months after the procedure. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then the day, third day of the treatment. Третий день терапии у нас також буде премедикація і введення клітин в ділянку живота. On the third day you will also have intravenous premedication, mm -hmm. and the stem cells will be injected subcutaneously in the front abdominal wall under the skin. Це будуть різні типи суспензій. Передусім, це клітини попередники сполучної тканини. That will be the progenitors of connective tissue, які будуть позитивно впливати на його суглоби, на which, його опорний руховий апарат. Which will positively influence into your joint and your musculoskeletal system in general. Це клітини попередники легень, які покращать його дихання. That's the progenitors of lung cells, which will improve the work of your lungs. Це клітини попередники підшлункової залози, які покращать роботу травного. That will be the, the predecessors of pancreatic cells, which will improve the production of the glucose and gastrointestinal system in general. Також він буде отримувати клітини попередники ниркової тканини, які покращать роботу видільної системи. Also you'll have the progenitors of kidney cells, which will improve their work. Також він буде отримувати префібробласти, які покращать структуру його шкіри. Also you'll have the fibroblast cells, which will improve the structure of your skin. А також ендотеліальні клітини, які будуть впливати на його ендокринні залози. And also endothelium stem cells, which will improve into the work of your endocrine glands. Як ми казали, кожна суспензія містить, окрім клітин, біологічно активні речовини, які впливають на метаболічні процеси, а також підсилюють дію клітин. As we told you that each suspension which you inject, except the stem cells, it contains the biologically active substances, which also positively influence into your body, stimulate the stem cells. Крім того, в нас буде барокамера, да? Also, you'll have the oxygen therapy, hyperbaric oxygenation. У нас буде з ним інгаляція в соліній кімнаті. You will have the salt room inhalation session. А також буде заняття з інструментом лікування фізкультури. Yeah, that's the new thing. And also, you'll have consultation with our physiotherapy specialist regarding your physical abilities. Який покаже найбільш актуальні заняття. На сьогоднішній день. He will show you some exercise which you can do to improve your physical strength. Okay. Після завершення нашої терапії ми будемо видавати репорт, повністю розповімо про результати обстеження, надамо відповіді на питання, які є. Also, after we finish with the treatment, we will come back to you, we will give you the case report with all the results. If there is something we need to pay attention to, we will do that. And also, we will answer all your questions. What was the last one? We will also answer all your questions oh, okay. if you have some. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions right now to the doctor? No. Okay. Okay. okay, then let's start. Okay. Thank you so much. Here's your copy. Okay. Great, then we will start the treatment. So, Great. if you need to go to the restroom, please, a few minutes, and I'm coming back with the nurse, and we will start from the intravenous per medication. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. M-cells fetal stem cell therapy is the only therapy on earth where the patient receives genuine preneuronal stem cells. Mesenchymal or hematopoietic stem cells taken from blood, which is what most patients receive in other clinics around the world, these blood-based stem cells cannot physically transform into a neuronal stem cell after being injected into a human being. Fetal stem cell therapy is the only therapy where genuine neuronal cells are administered to patients, which is particularly useful with patients with degenerative neurological conditions like Bill. Day two of Bill's therapy was his intrathecal, or spinal injections, of the neuronal fetal stem cells. M-Cell now has an entirely new wing dedicated to this procedure in their new facility. Due to sterility reasons, I wasn't allowed to be in the room during the procedure, so I set up cameras to film it. 
This was the first time I had documented this procedure, and Bill is among the first Americans to have ever undergone this procedure at MCEL. Bill seems to have benefited nicely from this therapy in 2021 after receiving the spinal injections of the neuronal fetal stem cells. Bill is one of at least a dozen patients I am following for my new documentary. I will be visiting Bill again in his hometown in the coming weeks to continue documenting his progress. This was a much shorter podcast than my previous ones, but as I was busy editing my new documentary, I felt compelled to release this segment. If you wish to keep track of my progress on this documentary, sign up to my mailing list at ericmarola.com. That's E-R-I-C-M-E-R-O-L-A dot com. Or follow The God Cells on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. As always, if you have questions about anything related to fetal stem cells or this project, I am happy to answer them. I have been following this technology closely since 2014. And M-Cell continues to literally be the only place on Earth where this therapy is offered. M-Cell is the only group of scientists actually performing the harvesting, sorting, testing, storing, and the clinical application of fetal stem cells. I have rigorously looked to find anyone else in the world doing what M-Cell is doing, but up until now, it doesn't exist anywhere else. If you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. Email me at eric at ericmarola.com. Until next time, thank you for tuning in to episode 15 of the God Cells podcast. I'm Eric Marola.